Hey everyone, I'm back, and today we're going to be talking about Hannibal, and this movie is directed by Ridley Scott, and it came out in 2001, starring Anthony Hopkins, Julianne Moore, Ray Liotta, Gary Oldman. I've never seen any of the sequels to The Silence of the Lambs, and this is the first sequel of, from this series, and the other two, I believe, are Red Dragon, then Hannibal Rising, those two I haven't seen, and... I was curious to check this one out in particular, simply because it's directed by Ridley Scott, and I kind of want to check out all of his movies, <laughs> because there are plenty that I haven't seen, and I would like to get to them. And overall, I thought this movie was fine. I think this movie's okay. I didn't hate it, but uh, there are a lot of things that are holding this movie back from being great, in my opinion. First off, this movie's a little too long. <laughs> like, this movie could have been shorter by, like, 20 minutes, and it would have been better for me, at the very least. Maybe even more. Because I enjoyed about half of this movie, and the other half uh, was just really dull and boring. And also, uh, part of the problem is that half of the scenes in this movie... And also, part of the problem is that... A big majority of the scenes in this movie is just people just talking about nothing. And that really drags down the pacing, in my opinion. Not every conversation in this movie has purpose, nor does it uh, move the story forward. It's trying to develop these characters and make them interesting, but I don't care about any of the characters in this movie, sadly. The acting in this movie is good. Anthony Hopkins is uh, pretty great in this movie, and Julianne Moore is uh, really good in it, too recast as Clary's Starling and in Silence of the Lambs uh, that character was played by Jodie Foster now it's Julianne Moore taking on the part and she's pretty good in the movie and like I said earlier this movie uh, really just didn't really work for me in terms of entertainment value and uh, I had a lot of issues with the characters just talking about nothing and not really progressing the plot along and the characters were very weak but uh, once we got to Anthony Hopkins and once he's on screen the first time we actually see him on screen it got a bit better that's in a way kind of what saves the movie for me is that Anthony Hopkins is really great in the movie and it felt like he had a decent amount of screen time, and I'll say this, as great as his performance was, and as much as I enjoyed watching him on screen, I didn't really feel scared by anything, except for, like, one thing, the most iconic uh, scene from this movie, that's towards the end, and there was some uh, really good effects work in that scene, and it looked real and convincing. Like, just watching it, I had no clue how it was done. <laughs> or how it was, like, cheated or anything like that. It looked great. And the movie was well shot. And I was afraid that uh, this was going to be one of those movies that just had too many close shots in it. But, surprisingly enough, uh, that didn't really bother me in this movie. Because it kind of felt as though it had a purpose uh, for doing that. So, I can kind of forgive it for doing that. And one last positive to say about this movie, I like the music in the movie, composed by Hans Zimmer, and it was used well, it didn't feel overly familiar. I was not upset with the music in this movie. But overall, this was kind of just a bland version of Silence of the Lambs. And I just wish that uh, there was more of a hook for me. I wish that the characters were more interesting, and uh, the conversations in this movie, it actually moved the story along whereas in this movie it just felt like a lot of nothing happening nothing building where is this going couldn't even tell you like i could have not paid attention to i don't know a third of the conversations in this movie i'm gonna be generous and say a third <laughs> and you would miss nothing i genuinely feel that way so, would I recommend that you check this movie out? I'm kind of torn on this movie. There are plenty of things to like about it. There are things to respect about it. It's well made. It's not a studio cash grab film. Is That's the impression that I got to, from it, is that there was effort put into this film. It didn't feel as though they just threw this film together and there you go. 
Like, worst movies exist. The worst sequels exist. Even if that isn't saying all that much. But, sadly, this is just nothing special to me. Except for, like, one scene. I'll always come back to that one scene towards the end. But, aside from that, nothing really memorable. So, you can check this movie out if you want. Not the biggest waste of time ever. Just uh, very disappointing compared to Silence of the Lambs. So, with all that being said, I'm going to give Hannibal a 5 out of 10. The more I think about it, it's like, okay, you uh, love uh, Silence of the Lambs, uh, and uh, if you're a big fan of that movie and you want to see more of The Silence of the Lambs, I guess I could recommend this movie and say, yeah, just uh, watch this movie and you'll get, I guess, more of that. And it does an okay job at points. But by the end of the day, I feel like uh, walking out of this movie, it'll be like, eh, this is all right. Thank you for watching my videos. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. You thought of Hannibal and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Foley Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Rambo 3. So I look forward to that, but until I get that up, Thank you for watching and have a great day.